For this nail design, I wanted to do more mermaid nails because I just love doing mermaid nails, but I wanted to do something a little bit different and I wanted to step outside my comfort zone. So I pushed myself to do some aquarium nails, which I've never ever done before. I have done snow globe nails, but this was a little bit different. So if you want to see how I did them, just keep watching. So I actually get quite a lot of people wondering how I do my reverse method. So in this video, I am going to show how I do that on my thumbnail. And I've already applied my Dashing Diva Nail Guards and I glued on long stiletto tips. And now I'm just applying my own blend of Cover Pink Acrylic Powder. I do apply several beads of acrylic to get my nail bed to look just right. I know there's some people that can do it with one bead and I hate you. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I just like my nail bed to be nice and thin and I've tried the the one ball method, I guess you call it, and it just ends up really thick and bleh. So this is just how I like to do it. So after I've applied the cover pink powder and I'm happy with how it looks and the acrylic is dried, I go in with a 100 grit nail file and I just file around the smile line to clean up the area to make everything nice and also do it sometimes to thin out the smile line because sometimes it's a little bit too wide. And now I'm going in with a really fine, I can't remember if this is holographic or not. Is it holographic silver? Is it plain silver? It's been like three weeks since I did these nails and I just can't remember. But anyway, it probably is a really, really fine holographic silver and I'm not going to get people saying, it's not hollow. Okay, um, whatever. So I just mixed some, we're going to call it silver glitter. I just mixed a very fine silver glitter with clear acrylic and I'm applying that to my pinky nail and I'm also applying it to my index nail as a base because I'll be applying a chunky glitter on top. So now I'm applying a chunkier glitter mix and I mix two glitters from Glitter Heaven Australia because they're my jam and I love Glitter Heaven Australia glitter. Anyway, so I mixed um, Glitter Heaven Australia's Charisma and Glitter Heaven Australia's Silver Chunky Hollow, which is a really chunky holographic glitter. And I just mix those two together and I'm applying it on top of the silver on my pinky nail and my index nail. Whenever I apply a chunky glitter mix, I always like to start around the smile line and I fade it down towards the end of the nail. And I like to keep the layers of glitter quite thin because I also have to encapsulate these nails in clear acrylic. Now I'm going to create the aquarium nail and I just want to say this isn't my idea. I got this um, idea from Absolute Nails. I just love her videos. But what I did was I took a smaller nail tip than the one I used on my ring nail and I glue it to the back of the stiletto nail that I already have on. Once I have the other nail tip glued on, it's starting to look a little bit like an aquarium tank, but I can't fill it with any liquid yet because it would just leak everywhere. So now I'm going in with clear acrylic and I'm just sealing the outer edge of the aquarium tip. And here I am just filling up the nail with all different little 
bits and things. <laughs> so I'm starting off with um, some silver seashells and I believe these are the smaller ones. I had the bigger five millimeter ones but I thought they would be just a little bit too big so I'm glad I used these and I believe this these are about three millimeters and I think I added two of them and I'm also adding in some of Glitter Heaven Australia's glitter and I think I used um, Avalon dots, some Avalon, Charisma, and some of their silver chunky hollow and I think that's all I added. And now I'm going to fill the nail with baby oil. So I just sucked up some baby oil into a syringe and I'm inserting that into the nail. And I did mess up a little bit on this. I should have added more baby oil. Um, so next time I'll definitely be adding more baby oil because I will be doing more aquarium nails because I really loved how these turned out. When it came time to seal off the top of the nail, I went in with a, a super, super dry bead of clear acrylic and I thought the bead was like really dry, but when I applied it to the top of the nail to seal it off, it just became like wet again and it started dripping into the aquarium nail and I tried to scoop out as much of the acrylic as I could so you couldn't really see it. So that's when I decided to just cut off the top of a stiletto tip and that's what you see here. I just cut off the cut off the top of a stiletto tip and I glued it on top and there is still a little bit of a gap so then I just go in with clear acrylic to seal the edge. And now I go in with a 180 grit nail file and I lightly file the sides of the nail just to thin it down a little bit and to even out the sides of the nail so there's not any lumpiness. Moving on to my middle nail, I'm just applying a thin layer of white acrylic and this is Mia Secret's French White, I believe that's what it's called. And I'm just applying a thin layer of white and I'll be encapsulating this and then I'll be adding some mermaid scales. to encapsulate the nails in clear acrylic and this time I'm using the NSI Attraction Totally Clear Acrylic Powder and their monomer and I like to work with the bees a tiny bit, a tiny tiny bit on the wet side so that it snooze out easier and this acrylic dries fast. This acrylic does not play. It dries pretty fast. Um, not faster than Young Nails in my opinion or the other ones but it still dries about the same and I've actually been looking for a slower setting acrylic system. And after the acrylic is fully dried, I go in with a 100 grit nail file and I shape up the sides. And then I just go in with, I believe this is like a 180, 180 grit orange buffer. And I just buff the top of the acrylic because the acrylic applies so smoothly, it's self leveling. I don't have to go in with an e file anymore. Thank God. <laughs> it took me forever using an e file. I hated using that. Um, so now I just buff it with a 180 grit nail buffer and that's it. Here I am showing you how I make the mermaid scales and if you saw my other video I believe it's called 3 May, 3 May, what the hell, 3D mermaid spiral nails. I showed you how I made the mermaid scales using I think it was like a shimmery teal kind of powder and compared to this acrylic powder this is the Mia Secret um, French 3D white. Oh my god this is a breeze to make these mermaid scales. The acrylic just sits upright, it dries fast, Ugh, perfection. So I just pick up a sort of medium sized bead 
and I place it on top of a clear bag and then I go in with my brush and I push in the sides to make the mermaid scale. And to get the mermaid scales to stick to my nail, all I do is wet the area with a little bit of liquid monomer and I just stick on the mermaid scales. And you'll also see how I remove the mermaid scales from the bag. I just wet my brush with monomer and I just slide the brush under the mermaid scale and it comes up pretty easily. So I just keep repeating this until I get to the smile line and yeah, that's how you make 3D mermaid scales. And here is a short clip and a close up of the mermaid scales after I'm done with them and I'm so tempted to just keep them white. But knowing me, I gotta make them flashy, so I'll be showing you how I truly make them mermaid looking in the next clip. So I'm just using a thin liner brush and my Casey, Cassie, however you want to say it, um, no wipe gel top coat, and I'm just applying it on top of each mermaid scale. I didn't want to apply the acrylic with the brush that comes with on top of all the scales, but I feel... Cause, ugh, I can't talk today because I feel that if I would have just brushed the top coat on top of all the scales it would have ruined the 3d effect and it made it too smooth looking and after the top coat is dried I go in with the what's up nails Aurora pigment and an eyeshadow applicator and I just rub the powder on top of the top coat and it turns into these beautiful opalescent mermaid nails that shift from pink to gold to blue to purple oh my god I'm dying I love this powder It's gorgeous Now I just go in with a silicone tool and a little bit more of the Aurora pigment and I buff this on top and this just smooths out the pigment because sometimes you'll be left with some like dark specks and this doesn't completely remove them but it does help smooth them out so they're not as noticeable. And here's a close-up of the mermaid scales after I've applied the What's Up Nails Aurora pigment and I am absolutely, completely, head over heels, obsessed with these nails and this powder. And now I'm applying another layer of top coat and I'm using the same method as I used before. I'm using a liner brush dipped in the top coat and I'm applying it to each individual scale to give it more of a 3D look. And after I'm done, I put my nails under my UV lamp for two minutes. So I didn't really like how the aquarium nail looked with just my nail bed and then the clear aquarium nail. And don't get me wrong, I love the aquarium nails, but I just felt like it needed a little something around the smile line. So that's when I went in with the Madame Glam Metallic Silver and I'm just applying sort of like a border around the smile line and I really love how this turned out. I think it looks so much better than it did before. And to finish up this nail design, I'm applying gel top coat to my other nails and I cure for a full two minutes in my UV lamp. And here's the final look for these 3D Mermaid Aquarium nails. I hope you all loved how I did these nails and I had a lot of fun making them and I'm so glad I pushed myself to finally do aquarium nails and thanks so much for watching.